Hi babe, welcome. We used to say Nigeria is hard, Abby, but this time around the stress is just crazy. I went to town yesterday. Yesterday was 3rd February 2023. Today is 4th and I went to my one. Like everywhere was just smelling stress, stress. Like, everything is just so freaking stressful. When I was going back, I decided to just film and show you people what's up. First of all, Portacot is somehow scanty. Like when you're going around the street, forget this park we're going to meet like... The ratio of people that are always on the streets or around is reduced to about maybe 15%, first of all. Fuel. Both drivers that picked me yesterday confirmed that they got fuel for 500 naira per liter. 500 naira per liter after spending over four hours on queue. It doesn't stop there. Let's not talk about cash. If you want to use POS, you have to pay, um, how is it? I wanted to collect 20,000 and I was told I'll pay 3,000 Naira. Like they'll take 3,000 Naira to give you 20,000 Naira. So to get your 20,000, I get 17,000 or you add extra 3,000 Naira to that. And then on the road, I saw queues of POS. To queue up to, not POS, ATM, for people to collect their own money from ATMs, they had to queue up to outside of the bank. Else, all these banks, can you see? Their ATMs were not working. And you know the sad thing? The sad thing is that there are some ATMs that are not working and then people are still queuing and waiting for when you to pay. Imagine that level of frustration. We are going to pass it and you will see. I just wanted to show you people. We're going to pass some banks. Most of them are not paying. This day was a Friday. Most of the ATMs were not working. The ones that were working hard crowds that would line up to outside of the bank. Then the queues for petrol is just crazy. We're going to pass maybe two feet stations, you will see. They are either not selling or that's the situation that is going on. Like, guys, where are we heading to Nigeria? I, I don't want to vent too much. I just want you to see. Like, I know that, like, things are not... In my comments, someone left like, 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 like this, like this, like this, because I was saying it too much in my video. I don't know when I start saying that, but like, guys, like, 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 since in this country, I'm not making somebody a mission. It's difficult. Okay, let me talk more about this new, new Naira note problem. No cash, right? From ATMs, you cannot get cash. From POS, you have to pay a ridiculous amount to get cash. And then when you go into the market, like if you're holding cash in the market now, it's as if you're holding gold. Some market women had to close their shops because they don't have bank accounts. So since people are not coming to the market with cash, you buy things. Or I bought things of 1,000 naira to transfer. I'm buying things of 2,000 naira to transfer. As little as 1,000, 2,000, you're paying with transfer because there is no cash anywhere. And all these women that don't have bank accounts, like some people are just choosing to just stay home because like they can't they know fit like how where where will you start imagine that frustration all these atms are not paying whoever is doing this to nigeria i feel like say you should sleep and not wake up but sky this is bad all these atms you're seeing them not paying the most heartbreaking one where i, where I saw people waiting why are you waiting in case the atm pays Frustration in Nigeria is it's, it's not funny. It's not funny. Just this month before election, it is tough. It is tough. Oh, please be kinder to people. Let's kill it with kindness. <laughs> Enjoy. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. If you want to see more videos about just places I visit Nigeria in Nigeria and if you like Portacot, I'm based in Portacot, so I'll have more. This garrison that used to be like if I say like again, I go close my mouth. This garrison used to be crowded, especially when you're passing here in the afternoon when everywhere is bubbling. Nothing. People are just tired. Hmm. <sighs>
Pourquoi sinon s'aimer à se promettre l'éternité Sinon vivre et vivre d'amour comme dans les contes et les histoires Sinon laisser couler les jours en profitant de chaque pas Malgré nos douleurs et nos craintes en se serrant fort dans les bras Si l'on s'aimait Encore une fois Si l'on s'aimait Comme autrefois Avant, pourquoi nous on ne pourrait pas se regarder droit dans les yeux sans douter un instant et croire que le temps est notre ami et pas celui qui nous sépare que l'on pourrait vivre sans vie dans l'aventure de notre histoire si l'on s'aimait encore une fois si l'on s'aimait comme autrefois Si l'on s'aimait à se promettre l'éternité Si l'on vivait ivre d'amour comme dans les contes et les histoires Si l'on laissait couler les jours en profitant de chaque pas Malgré nos douleurs et nos craintes en se serrant fort dans les bras Si l'on s'aimait encore une fois Si l'on s'aimait comme autrefois Avant, pourquoi nous on ne pourrait pas se regarder droit dans les yeux sans douter un instant et croire que le temps est notre ami et pas celui qui nous sépare que l'on pourrait vivre sans vie dans l'aventure de notre histoire si l'on s'aimait encore une fois si l'on s'aimait comme autrefois
vraiment s'aimer, à se promettre l'éternité. Si l'on vivait ivre d'amour, comme dans les contes des histoires. Si l'on laissait couler les jours, en profitant de chaque pas. Malgré nos douleurs et nos craintes, en se serrant fort dans les bras. Si l'on s'aimait. Si l'on s'aimait à se promettre l'éternité Si l'on vivait ivre d'amour comme dans les contes des histoires Si l'on laissait couler les jours en profitant de chaque pas Malgré nos douleurs et nos craintes en se serrant fort dans les bras Si l'on s'aimait 